Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome to episode 6 of our Caesar 3 campaign. Today I'm decided to do kind of a 45 minute episode because, well, uh, I felt like it. <laughs> to put it bluntly, so we are in Carthago. We are halfway to our population goal. And I have decided that I want to start expanding our empire. Now the best way to do that is obviously, actually I'm going to do this right here. That's a good idea. That way that guy stays there. <clears throat> now the best way to do that is we need to add this expansion at this juncture. So that's what, definitely what we're going to do. Hope you don't hear that motorcycle because it's really loud for me. Now as you can see, I, all, I do have enemies closing. And I'm kind of hoping they're over here. So that way I have a good justification to destroy them. Uh, but other than that, our native risk isn't too bad at the moment. In fact, it's not bad at all. We are down by 102 employees, though. So that's something we will have to consider when we are making our new part. Gonna use this water source. I've decided that it would be better <clears throat> to go right here and build a very small settlement. So probably like a two set of these and then to build another small settlement right here that's about a two set of those again and between those we should be able to knock up um, pretty much all of the needs that we have in terms of population so that's the goal anyways so we're gonna place uh, we could do right here actually that would that would be fine use aqueducts to connect this to a full reservoir indeed okay so we're actually gonna drop Drop it right here. Right? No. I want to do 12. 16. That's what I meant. Uh, I don't want to do that. So let's do this. Let's switch up how this missionary works. And then let's just cut it off right there. Just so we know what we're okay. Uh, we're gonna move it. That's just the best thing to do. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna move it to like about here. We can go as far as we want because we have that aqueduct, so really water is not going to be... The distance that the water travels doesn't matter because this is such an old game. Nothing like that would affect what we're doing here. Oh, I need to build it shorter though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Build it right there. I think that's about the right size. 140. Uh, so we needed to build right there. We were close. We were pretty close. Build right there and then build right there. And then our fountain should more than enough get covered at that point. And that's pretty much what that same setup is at that part. So let's build it across. We need to have some new music here. It's driving me crazy. Uh, yes, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. We should drop it there. Build, build. Sometimes it takes a little bit of development just to create even the smallest of cities. Uh, build a fountain at that location. <coughs> We're going to go ahead and plaza this stuff up. It only costs a grand. That's nothing. Prefect, 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 Prefect. Overkill the Prefects. I know we need people, but as soon as this baby goes up, we're not going to need people. There we go. Actually, I'm going to try this out. Put it right there. I'm not quite sure... If people can... Oh, it looks like employees can go through. Okay. Well, I just wanted to try it out. 
And right off the bat, what I'm going to do over here, instead of building anything else, is I'm actually going to build some walls. Some pretty freaking thick walls. With a double gatehouse. A blessing from Venus. Awesome. And then we'll build it right like that. Um, I don't think it'd be super necessary to build. I will do it anyways. That puts us in a little bit of a pickle. Oh well, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Enemies at the gates. I'm gonna knock this out. Oh sweet, we reached 3,000 people. I love it. Let's just do this. Now here's another funny little kicker, is we are not connected to the mainland. If we're not connected to the main colony, then our towers will not be populated. So actually, oh, that is too perfect, man. That is too perfect. For the time being, we'll just drop it right there, right there. And that'll section off the city, but also allow things to get populated. Draw another set of walls right there. And then these guys. Just remove that. And we're just going to build a big, huge little blockade thing there. And now, as you'll see here in a second, you'll actually have sentries coming out. And doing that. Oh, sweet. I completely forgot we were doing that. Sweet. Uh, oil export. Awesome. How are we doing? 129 employees. Okay, so we should probably build some access. And again, that can get sectioned off. We can build a small little colony. And then exploit the tar out of this farmland as best as we can. Nope, I can actually optimize that. Boom, boom. Nope, I don't want it there. Also, didn't even know you could do that. Whatever, it works. It all works. So now let's build a ton. Actually connect these guys. Connect a lot of prefects. <laughs> and that's how it was originally, sweet. Hundred and ninety nine units, that sucks. Or hundred and ninety nine people. That's how many we need. Everybody gets fed, everybody's happy. There's a fire in the city. Oh, that would help. That would really help. Everything goes down in flames, it's awful. Everybody's dying. Okay. Fruit. Now once trade picks back up, that's when I'm going to drop this second smaller city. 
And then we'll actually have two sets of outposts. Which would be super handy to have. And we'll work it from there. Enemy army attacks. Haha, -ha, see, look. Perfect. And that way it gives our legionaries time to move. I'm actually going to move these guys in. And then we're going to move the javelins in behind them. Here we go. There we go. We got we got towers going. We got all sorts of good stuff. You may break through, but we will be there when you do. Die. Perfect. Uh return to fort. Minus 156 employees. Man, we really got to work on employees, don't we? Get that rebuilt. Worked perfectly. Couldn't ask for a better defense. How is everyone? Everyone's delighted. They grumble at the lack of festivals. Well, they will be fine. Let's tax. Actually, I don't want to tax them just yet. I need to get some money in. Increase trading. Awesome. We kind of desperately need that. We're working. We're working hard. Enemies at the door in a distant battle. Goodness gracious, they're really going to push us, aren't they? Um, do I have enough? I think I do. Six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's right. We're just going to do it. Go there and go there. We're building our new part of the city. Just going to do it right there. Actually, no. We're going to move it quite a bit closer. Not quite a bit. Literally one step in. Ah, uh, yeah. I messed up. That's all right. Everything costs workers. I get it. Fontanias. Guess I could build everything else that goes with that, right? Here we go, lots of good people coming in. Still down by 141, but that's all right. Only down by 88 now. And this is where the real fun part comes in. Mm, let's build a ship bridge. Let's go down there. Cut those guys off. Let's build a wharf. Nope. Remove that guy.
Oh, let's build a prefect and then build an engineer's thing. And then in no time, voila, we got fish. That's awesome. And we're only down by 71 population, 71 employees. That's what I'm thinking of. 15 wine, that's absolutely outrageous. Don't worry, we'll stock it. Been a local uprising. Nothing that we can't solve. Where is it? Oh crap, wrong place. Well, it said over there. Now you really gotta move. There we go. We haven't quite def picked up this place yet. Very nice. Piece of cake. Return to fort. What is this? Enemies closing and a local uprising. Oh dear lord. Not prepared for this one. The Stallions. Go there. Ponies. Go there. Ponies. Go there. Be in force. And may the gods be with you all. That's a lot of troops, man. Ponies better get there soon. There we go. Get the troops in. Oh, crap. That's right. Run away. We lost everyone except for the Javelin Men. But, we saved the day, that's all that matters. And we'll rebuild that army in almost no time. Imperial Dispatch is already ready. Already ready. No. Export. Sweet, okay, so those guys have everything they need. Uh, let's go market, 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 market. <clears throat> And then between these guys, I'm going to split all five gods. I think it's appropriate that Mercury and Mars are in Neptune. I guess Neptune's over there. That's all right. Oh, come on, man. Fine, then I'll put Neptune right there. Take him out of there. The Emperor's Gratitude, indeed. You better be grateful. I give everything to him way before time is required of me. All it takes is one dude. Prefects and engineers. Oh, come on. Get in there. There we go. Perfect. Oh, we have an unemployment of 9%. I love that. Let's see. Let's look at our ratings real quick. We need more culture. We need more prosperity. Our culture requires more academics. Which, again, can go literally anywhere. Let's see, let's take a look. Let's take a look at literacy. Um, how many school age? Oh wow, we need triple the schools. So let's just start with that. Let's just start building more schools. Build some schools everywhere for everyone to learn.
Very good. Two academies only teach a hundred young people. And there's 300, so let's go ahead and drop some dough on them. Work that out there. Oh, we reach 5,000 population. I love it. And our prosperity rate is rising. I love that as well. And where's Venus? She is over there. Awesome. We are doing just fine and dandy. That stuff, that granary stuff, that granary stuffed. Can I export wheat? Or am I importing it? Okay, we're importing it. That's fine. I don't mind. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Nope, that wasn't quite right. Let's drop it. Right like that. Build a gatehouse there and a gatehouse there. That way people can come over to this place and get it up. Okay, so we got that right there done. Uh, next we need is entertainment. Now, we have 3,000 people entertained from theaters. So that's what, 500 apiece? I could drop some money on some theaters. And while I'm at it, also drop some money on some forums so we can start taxing these people. They've gone a plenty long time without being taxed. It's time they paid their dues. So that should cover us until enough people. There's been another local uprising. They really don't like me, do they? Send those guys back. Oh, looks like we still have... There we go. Moving right along. An enemy army strikes. Let's go ahead and build some libraries. Where are they striking this time? Same spot. Let's go here. They're going to be caught in the thick of it. And then my javelin men are going to save the day from behind. I love how the prefix come out. Prefix. They come out to play. Where are they going to come in at? They're going to come in right here. Or they'll just run away. That works too. Got four legionaries left. It's more than ample enough. Let's rebuild the walls. So We're at 5,300 people. Our prosperity needs to get higher. And that will come with... Uh, basically just time. Small temple to Neptune. We'll just drop it right out here. Small temple to Mercury. Mars needs a good one. Let's put him over here. And then Venus last but certainly not least. Goes right there. Sweet! We now no longer have enough food. Enemies closing. So many things are going on. You know, I could certainly build up this last area as long as my prosperity is fine. Awesome. Uh, yeah, let's just do this right here. Easily get 400 people. <laughs> oh, 
What does the water extend to? So I could build... Just get two away. There we go. It's connected to the main empire. Wow, that failed. That failed big time. Let's drop it there, there, and there, and there. I don't want to build no well. Build a fountain. And some gardens. And then we're just going to do the standard, standard setup. Engineering's post. And we got a doctor in the house. Oh, and some granaries and whatnot. Or a marketplace. There we go. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Accept the promotion. Look at that. Carthago is done. To your brilliant performance, that is amazing. Is okay, so now we can do a largely peaceful province or a dangerous province. Uh, Tarsus, we just did a, a map there, but Syria we're not there, but let's take a look and see what it's like. Now there's tons and tons of places to fish. We actually don't even have the ability to farm, so it's going to be interesting to drop six grand of people. Raw materials, marble quarry, iron mine, and a timber yard. Now, it says it's largely peaceful, so that means we probably won't see as much action, but we still would see action. Let's go ahead and take it. Let's replay the map. Let's see what Tinjus looks like. Our expansion A large, large amount of people. Oh, I love this map. This is what we're doing. This is hands down what we're doing, because this is a really good map. Clay pit and a timber yard, so that means we're going to have to worry about... Um, importing, which they sell weapons directly, so that's good. All right, so we have a ton of farmland at this point right here. And I think the only thing we do is uh, farm-wise is wheat and vegetables, which is amazing. So we could build that big four group right there, but I think I might build an even larger one. We may lay the foundations for it and see how it rolls. Need all the space we can afford. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, so we are going to probably just draw out the whole thing here. Here's what I want to do. Actually, I need that 4200 most likely, but we're going to try and do what we can without it. Now, I'm going to lay down the groundworks for a humongous section, and we'll see just how well it functions. Now, again, we can build the big, huge sets now. Oh, that... That music is going to drive me up the wall. So 12, 16 starts the new one. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is over there. It just looks a wee bit awkward. Um, yes. Nope, we gotta build right there. Awesome. Let's do this for right now. Still just looks wrong, but up here on the map, as we can see, it is definitely right. And then we're gonna build one just a little bit different over here and then we may actually even expand into this region in the future 
if it's possible. Let's actually just do this. Let's build a little six. Go there. Guys, this music is driving me crazy. Driving me up the wall. Does that look right? And then one more dual one here. Because you can see there's all trees over here, so we know if we do get attacked, it's not going to be in this direction. So now we're obviously not going to have all of those together. These will be separated to an extent. And actually this is how I think they could all be connected. Hmm, that's not going to work. That's really not going to work. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so we're going to start over. I, I misbuilt that, basically. There is a way to get it to work. I just was a little off in my calculations. So we're just going to start over just super quick. We're actually just going to give ourselves more space. go and then what I'm going to do is one two three four five now the reason I'm doing that is that allows me to have a road in the middle if I so choose which I probably will build a road this way did I really miss build that I did son of a gun this is dumb. And I actually built this too close. So they're actually gonna we're gonna do a really big expanded version. One, two, three, four. Yep. So let's build that and that. Patience, guys, patience. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Awesome. there and there sweet so that will allow um, more roads to be able to go down that middle as I said earlier and we'll take this clump of trees out do the same thing here though uh, six and then that one two three four five forty 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 36, whatever. Is that a little too much? I don't think it is. And then... 40... Now again, you'll see what I mean right as soon as I get done. Now, okay, so these are going to be separated right here, legitimately for reals. Now I can place a granary in between here. I could place it even right here, and we would have some pretty sweet little access points to which uh, that would work, hopefully. Hope I didn't just way overbuild myself. And, uh, yeah, that'll look, that'll look pretty sweet, I think. This looks a little awkward. That's 90. This is built just one too high. And then that's probably one too high. 
There we go. Okay, well, I'm going to delete those guys because I'm not ready for them yet. So here is our laydown of the city, the foundations, essentially. So again, I could place... Uh, we could do a granny right here and right here, or I think right there would be good. So let's do this. We're spending so much money here, it's kind of disgusting. Granary right there and right there for the time being. And then that allows interconnectivity and still allows us to build these babies. Because we could go we could build on the outskirts of everything. Go right there right there and then actually just draw this to there and that will be connected and then we connect via reservoir or aqueducts and that will allow some buildings in between and uh, so we'll do the same thing over there once we decide we needed to expand and I can actually go ahead and drop the money uh, we won't do it yet because we'd actually depend on Caesar for just a little bit of it hmm, I just had another idea I hate ideas I hate them. So I was thinking I actually wanted to go... Well, no, because then that would be a double road. No, I'm more than willing to put these guys through the through the ropes with these roads. So let's go ahead and just do this real quick. Let's go ahead and take this out. And just focus on this part. We'll develop this little section right here. As you can see, we are more than covered on all of our routes and everything. Even one spot for baths will definitely get covered and we'll be all well and good and then when necessary I can connect to those if need be so let's go ahead and draw these roads out here nothing goes ever beyond three one two three so we'll build that there pull this all the way out and that's where we'll build our farms so we're getting that laid down, and then I could actually go ahead and draw just a little group of people right here from the get-go. So that way they have immediately have access to farms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can just draw that guy out just for kicks and giggles hit that prefect, and hit that engineer's post. So that will be the end of the episode, guys. So we'll work on... This is Londinium, right? Our expansion oh, it's Tingus. I knew it wasn't Londinium. So we are working on Tingus. So next episode, we will start building our city. This is the largest city we've ever built. But I really don't doubt that we can... Uh, I have no doubts that we can not do this. We're going to do it. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, between these, I mean, you really only need 2,000 population per square and otherwise it'll all work out just great so if you did enjoy this episode give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button follow me on twitch twitter facebook and instagram i'll see you in the next episode of caesar 3 this is havoc and i am out of here peace